Hello everyone, welcome back to another Caleb's Aquatics video. Today we are adding on to this segment, Two Minute Tuesday. Man, I'm losing track. I think we're on nine now. I don't know. I'm losing track how many times. Um, but the support on these videos are awesome. So if you guys like these things, make sure you like and subscribe, all those good things. But in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to bag fish and transport them to somewhere else. So let's get into the video. Let's talk about some examples that you would actually use uh, transporting fish for. Maybe for me, I sell fish and I can I, I transport them. I put them in a bag, something like this. And, I trans and they transport them to the house and put them in their aquarium. Maybe you're selling fish to your local fish store. Whatever the case is, and you need to take the fish out of one aquarium and acclimate them to another aquarium, maybe you just grab a bag, catch it, and acclimate it that way. But there's multiple different ways why you would want to transport your fish somewhere else into another tank just to acclimate them um, for different reasons. But what you're going to first need is some sort of bag. I actually have these aquarium bags. They're probably about 18 inches tall by 3 inches wide, so they're perfect for like a beta on a transport, whatever. Um, you can get all different types, and maybe you don't have aquarium bags or fish bags. You could always use a, you could always use a sandwich bag or something like that that you can get from a local grocery store, like a sandwich bag or something like that. But I'm using these these three inch bags, so you go ahead and they're just long, so you can transport them better. Whatever the reasoning why is. All right, now I have my water in the bag. Everything like this. When I go ahead and do it, I just open up the top all the way by spreading my fingers out. And what I do is I just go like this quickly. And I just grip like this. So now you can see I have my water and my air in the bag. I just go quickly. What I do is you want to spin this around so you can just twist up the top here by just twisting it. And you want to keep on going until you got it all good. So just twisting it. There we go. Now we got it all twisted good. Now what I do is I go ahead and put like my, like go ahead and bend this in half. So like this. So now you have this little knob kind of thing. And what I use, I just use general rubber bands for using anything. And these ones are kind of big, so what I do is I kind of make this half a size. So I, I may cut it in half. But now you, once you have your rubber band like this, I just go ahead and go like this. And I, what I do is I twist around first. And what I do is I just keep on twisting around like this. Twisting, pulling back, twist, back on, pull back, twist. And just keep on doing that until you have no more rubber band left. There we go, the last one, just like that. You have your rubber band, you have a little end. So when they get their fish, all you gotta do is you just gotta pull this and the whole rubber band will fall off. Super simple, you have your bag of water, your air, everything you need just to go ahead and maybe put this in a tank, float it, whatever, transporting the fish. You can always get bigger bags for bigger fish or different cases that you want. But that's how you can go ahead and transport your fish to wherever you need to go. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's 2 Minute Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed these type of things, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share it out, all those good things, guys. Hopefully, you guys are having staying safe out there, having a good day, guys. And I will see you on my next video on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Peace.